So today is a really exciting day because I'm going to be reacting to a movie that is one of my friend's favorite movies. This friend is Roger from Slasher Pepper. You probably know him from here on YouTube. And he does his own reaction videos to movies, which are really good. Go check those out if you haven't seen them yet. Um, just check out his channel in general. It's awesome. But uh, this movie, he states is his favorite movie ever. My all-time favorite would be Intruder from 1989. It's like a slasher movie that takes place in a grocery store. The movie I'll be reacting to today is Intruder from 1989. And the only thing I know about this movie is it's a slasher set in a grocery store. That's the only thing I know about it. Um, I like that premise a lot. And the fact that it's a late 80s slasher is pretty interesting too. Um, for these reaction videos, I've been tending to do 80s slashers for some reason. Uh, I did The Burning and um, Happy Birthday to Me, which are both early 80s slashers, so I'm interested to see this one as one that's a later entry into the genre, but um, I'm watching it on Shudder, and the synopsis on Shudder says, the overnight crew of a supermarket find themselves pursued by a mysterious maniac in this fun late 80s slasher from regular Sam Raimi mainstay Scott Spiegel, who wrote Evil Dead 2 and appeared in many of Raimi's films. Spiegel wisely enlisted Raimi himself and Bruce Campbell to play supporting characters. That's really awesome. I can't wait to see them and spot their cameos in this movie. So I'm just expecting a good, fun, uh, probably slightly goofy and a bit gory ride. So we'll see if I am accurate in those predictions. But um, yeah, the cover is this guy with a meat cleaver and a decapitated head and this arm that's all sliced up to look like uh, some sort of deli wrap or something. So uh, yeah, I I'm, I'm excited to watch this one for sure. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna put my headphones in here and we're gonna press play. 87 minute runtime. I love a nice lean under 90 minute movie. Love the title card. Very nice. With Sam Raimi and Eugene Glazer. Not sure who that is. And Ted Raimi. Okay. <laughs> Where there's a Sam, there's usually a Ted that follows. And special appearances by Bruce Campbell and Emil Sitka. Also not sure who that is. Yeah, most of these other names I don't recognize, so. Oh, makeup effects by Greg Nicotero. Very cool. I love all the old designs of the cereal boxes. The shot inside the shopping cart is really fun. Oh no. <laughs> oh, his bag broke. I love how you can tell it's like right on the cusp of the 90s, like their hair and their outfits. It's very much like transition between the 80s and 90s. Who's this guy? Looks like George Michael. <laughs> oh. He's in the reflection. I just want Faith to start playing every time we see that guy. <laughs> I just love the design of this old school grocery store. It's so fun. Oh, and they have the lobsters in the tank too. Oh no, but I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. You know, not everybody has got a body like you. You know, I got a gimp hand from writing you letter after letter, <laughs> just hoping you'd write one back to me. George Michael is not happy. <laughs> Craig, I'm sorry about what happened. Never trust a Craig. Oh, ooh, I love the punch noises. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was like a kangaroo kick or something. Oh, there's, is that Sam or Ted? Ah, he got wrecked. I think it's Sam. I love the fedora flannel combo. <laughs> that's great. I have a feeling Craig is gonna be the red herring. I think that's Sam. They look so similar though. <laughs> that's Ted for sure. I love that Ted has his little Walkman <laughs> with the little headphones. This girl looks familiar. I feel like I've seen her in other movies, but I can't place her. I don't believe it. I'm winning. Up there where I caught you guys smoking that wacky tobacco? <laughs> oh, come on. That guy definitely seems like he's indulged in some wacky tobacco. Oh. Run of a whore. <laughs> I feel like you could smell him. Like he looks like he smells like Jennifer? BO and alcohol. <laughs> Uh, uh, Craig. Uh, ah, Craig, stop. Ew. Get him out of there. What a weirdo. I like the shot where you can see the reflection in the glass. It's cool. Now, does everybody know what they're doing today? Why do I feel like it's going to be him? 
The co-owner? Hmm. <laughs> Ted is such a goober. He cracks me up. Leave me alone. Creepy phone call. That's a check mark for slasher hallmarks. <laughs> you really went out with him? For two months, about a year ago. They only dated for two months, and he's that worked up about it. Oh shit. He only got like two years for manslaughter. <laughs> That's a cool shot. From like inside the phone. <laughs> That's a cool shot too. <laughs> I like the creativity with some of the camera work. Oh. The facial expressions Ted's making, so funny. Ooh, is there a love connection happening? Dave and Jennifer sitting in a tree. <laughs> Dave, I want you to bring out all them cases of baked beans and pineapple. Mmm, baked beans and pineapple. <laughs> Yum. Fart blossom special. <laughs> okay. Fart blossom special. This angle is so interesting. Is that just nails in an orange? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Walking down nine miles, swinging the head by the hair in one hand, and his hamburger in the other. I wonder if this story is going to come into play later, or if it's literally just a silly story. <laughs> or if we'll see the killer doing the exact same thing with a head in one hand and a burger in the other. We'll see. Like the oldest police officers ever. <laughs> Ugh, I just know her friend's going to be the first one to get killed when she walks to her car. We're 30 minutes in and there hasn't been a kill yet. I'm kind of surprised, but I feel like it's coming now. Oh, that's a big knife. Ah! I knew, I knew there was gonna be a cutaway. I knew we weren't gonna see it. <laughs> Ted, oh my God. <laughs> ah, those glasses. He is such a ham. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like the camera's turning like it's on the doorknob. That's cool. Aw, cute dog. Oh my god, is he in the dumpster? Yeah! Oh, behind the dumpster. Get him! These fight scenes are cracking me up. Ah! I predict that Ted is gonna get killed while he's listening to his music, of course. The guy's gonna come up behind him, he's not gonna notice him. And that's how he's gonna get killed. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Right in the eye. It's a pretty cool kill. The police are gonna get Craig. I don't know that the police are gonna get him. They didn't look like they were very uh, spry. <laughs> oh, of course, an eyeball. <laughs> what is he cutting? Oh, that was kind of cool. I was right about the kill. <laughs> that was funny, the sign. That was a pretty cool misdirect, I like that. It's kind of cool how the music is messing up too on his Walkman. Oh no, there's a meat cutter. There's gonna be someone going into that meat cutter, I'm sure. Thinking kind of like um, Fear Street, 1994, like that kill. Because I had the foresight not to wear any underwear, Tim. <laughs> this guy's lines, what even? Tim, screw Tim. <laughs> I want him to say Tim one more time. <laughs> oh wow, it's Tim, what a surprise. <laughs> there he goes. Oh no, ooh, yuck, so gross. Oh my gosh, that's just like the cover for Fresh. I wonder if they got inspiration for that from this movie. Ooh, I knew someone was gonna get the meat hook. Appropriate that it was the butcher. <laughs> They're all kind of dying in their um, respective parts of the grocery store, which is interesting. The manager died in the office. The butcher was killed in the meat locker. The guy in the beer cooler. Nope. <laughs> Those poor lobsters like, what the fuck? Oh, oh my god. Very funny guys with the pig's feet. It's not pig's feet. There's the meat cleaver. Grab the meat cleaver, grab the meat cleaver. Oh my god. Yep, there's the meat slicer. This guy's screams are impressive. Oh, that's a cool shot. Ugh. Oh, yuck. That was really well done. They all did. It's really creepy how all the meat's just swinging around. How did she not notice that? Jennifer's gotta be our final girl though, right? Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. It's got the half off tag. <laughs> That's hilarious. New crush proof box. <laughs> These signs are really funny. Ooh, so gross. Breaking Craig again. Oh, in the neck! I still feel like it's not him. We've still got like 20 minutes, so I have a feeling the killer is someone else. Ooh. 
That was a cool zoom. Get out of there, Jennifer. I knew it. I knew it was him. Mm -mm. Jennifer. Don't trust him. Yeah, why does he have blood all over his hands? Because it's where you stabbed him with the meat hook. Oh, I knew it. I totally called it. Wow, he's really good at leaping on those. <laughs> I'm just crazy about this store. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew he was just like pissed about the store. Oh my God. This is just an airtight plan, isn't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna crash, but it just went bonk. <laughs> Still think Craig's gonna come back at some point. I don't know if he's gonna help her or not, but yes, double knives. <laughs> is he really putting that back? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> Still gotta make my store look nice. Even though I've murdered a bunch of people in it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, don't drop the knife. Come on. Yeah, hit him with the wheat germ. Yes. There you go. I feel like you probably know where the keys are, Jennifer. Or you, don't you have a key? Ooh. Wait, who's killing him? Uh. Wait, I guess he went outside. <laughs> Danny? He's still going. This man is resilient. Uh. Oh my god, just kidding. Somebody help me. That's so messed up. Ew, don't kiss it, no. Oh, I like how she went to stab him upside down. That clearly looks like it's made out of some kind of like cardboard with some shiny uh, material on top. There it is. He's got the head and he's eating the sandwich, just like I said earlier too. The story was gonna have some significance, and there it is. <laughs> Her running. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, let's go, running. Let's go. <laughs> if they make Craig a good guy, I swear. <laughs> Just being battered by a decapitated head. Just climb on top of it. Oh my god. This part always makes me so nervous when they're trying to. Oh. Fuck on this. Nice. <laughs> Great line. Where'd you get the knife? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god, I love how that flew out. Ah, before cell phones, when you couldn't just run away and call the cops <laughs> while you're running, you have to go to the payphone that's right by the guy that was attacking you. <gasps> oh my god. That scared me. Of course he's not dead. Ooh. Ouch. Oh my god. This guy will not stop. Come on, Craig, do something good for once. Ooh, right between the fingers. Ow. I love how it looks like he's hitting him with like the bottom part of the meat cleaver. It's like absolutely not going in. <laughs> A slower, sadder rendition of Faith plays now. <laughs> Is that Bruce? Yep, there he is. Looks like the younger cops are just as incompetent as the older ones. They killed everybody. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Is that Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> Whoa. All right. A very bleak ending. Yeah. Um. Hopefully they actually uh, get that figured out and realize that uh, they were not the killers, but um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed that. I think it is a super fun 80s slasher. I really loved all the kind of goofy jokes and little touches like uh, the sign saying half off and being on the body that's cut in half. That kind of stuff I thought uh, was played off really well. And I was pretty impressed with most of the effects. Uh, some of the shots of, you know, like the knives and things, they looked definitely like prop knives. And I can forgive stuff like that. I don't really mind. It's a low budget 80s slasher. So um, yeah, overall, I had a really fun time with it. And I'm really glad that I finally watched it because I have heard Roger talk about this movie for a very long time. So I saw that it was on Shudder and I was like, all right, I'm finally going to sit down, react to it and see how I feel about it. So, um, yeah, I would say if you're looking for something that's good to just kind of throw on, just enjoy it. 
laugh at the jokes, uh, enjoy seeing uh, Ted and Sam Raimi there. I thought that they were great in their roles. Um, And then a little bit of Bruce Campbell there at the end. So that was really fun as well. But yeah, um, overall, definitely, definitely enjoyed it. So if you like this movie, let me know in the comments or uh, let me know how you feel about it. And uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. And I'll definitely let Roger know how I feel about it. Uh, Please go over and check out his channel. Like I said, he makes some amazing content over on Slasher Pepper. So please go check him out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you over here in this little horror family that I've got going. So uh, yeah, thanks again. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and we'll talk horror next time.